Okay, so first thing you want to do is make a sketch like I did here. And um, the 19 inches are uh, the shoulder to the length you want. Right here, the shoulder to the length you want. Um, it depends on how long you want uh, your sleeves to be. Mine are about to my elbows. Um, the dotted lines are all your hems. So that's kind of where you don't stitch together with uh, the second layer. And this part right here is how far um, you want it across your neck. This will just give you um, extra room. And uh, this right here, I cut a little slit here because I want mine to be like this. You can have your straight if you want to, but I like to cut a little slit here. Um, it's just a little bit extra work. This is just six inches in and six inches in. And uh, the bottom hem is actually optional. It depends on what kind of fabric you use. And the 12 inches is my... Uh, sleeve width. I folded my fabric in half lengthwise or hamburger style um, and you want the wrong side facing you. You want to cut or when you buy the fabric you'll have to tell them one yard or a yard and a third. It depends on how long you want it to be and a yard and a third hits, uh, hits to my knees almost so that's why I got a yard and a third. So what you want to do is use your measuring tape. This diagram that I've drawn here is 19 inches, 6 inches, and 19 inches. And that's where you want to measure. So you want to measure across 19, 6, and 19 so you get the length you want. Uh, change these measurements if you want to. I just have these measurements to fit me. But this um, kimono is sort of universal. So, um, it should be one size fits all. 19 inches from here to here, and then 6 inches, and then 19 inches. Just going to mark it with a piece of chalk. Uh, the length hits, and this is how big I want it to be across. And so I'm just going to draw a line of chalk all the way down, straight down, and then cut this fabric off. I cut this part off all the way down because I don't need this. But you want to keep it so that um, it can become kind of like your waistband. Or if you want to tie it around your waist after you're finished. About 44 inches long and I'm just going to go right in the middle of that which is 22 which is right here and I'm just going to draw a line of chalk straight down and then I am going to cut only the first layer right here. This is very important because if you cut the second layer you will mess up um, the whole thing. First layer all the way to the top as you can see here. Here I'm going to open it to show you. Cut it all the way to the top. Three inches each way on the top so three inches this way and three inches this way, but only cut the top layer. So cut three inches on the top layer this way across and this way across. This way and three inches this way. So the total right here should be six inches. Sort of want to cut downward into the middle each side. So it kind of forms a neckline, but not too much since it's going to all be open anyways. So I'm sort of just cutting like a half moon shape. Just like that, and then I'm going to cut a similar on the other side. It should look like, and this will be the neckline. So for the sleeves, I said I wanted it 12 inches down and 6 inches um, wide across. So 12 inches wide and 6 inches across to form kind of like an upside down L shape right in here. So I am going to measure that right now and then mark it with chalk. Six inches from the mark of chalk that you marked. So that's going to be right here. Cut out this L shape um, on both layers of fabric. So just cut out this L shape and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. That before you cut it, you want both layers to be really even. Even them out before you cut it because you don't want 
the two layers to be sort of different and uneven. So here now I have the basic shape of the kimono. Now what you want to do is sew right here so it's closed right here. And then you want to sew right here so that's closed right here because or else you wouldn't be able to wear it. You can either hand sew it, sew it by machine or glue it. But if you glue it, I recommend uh, using a light uh, fabric glue so that it's not so hard so when you wear it um, the texture is not so hard because I use hot glue on my previous kimono and it didn't turn out way too well so I recommend hand sewing it this is not that hard to hand sew it or sew it by machine and do the same to the other side this side right here so after sewing up both sides like this you want to hem all the edges, so hem the bottom, hem the center, and hem the sleeves right here. And with the sleeves, all you want to do is you want to fold it in and then hem it. Just sew straight across it, or you can actually glue it if you choose to do so. These fabric frays like this, see how it's like fraying at the end? Like so. See how strings are coming out? What you want to do to stop it from fraying is just grab a lighter and just turn it on and lightly go like that on the fabric. And it helps it not fray and if you do this all the way around the edges, it will stop the fabric from fraying. Even the parts that I sewed up, it is still fraying apart. So what you want to do is you just want to grab the lighter and then just run it across like that. Make sure not to burn the material, of course. That's it, I am going to hem up all the sides. So all these sides right here, I'm just going to fold it in and hem it. Oh, and remember that when you sew this part, remember that the right sides are together on the inside and the wrong side is facing you because you don't want to sew on the wrong side. So after I am done hemming all the edges, like the bottom, the center, the sleeves and the top portion I will be back with you and show you the result this is what the final product will look like it's really cute and flowy and of course you can still see some of the seams I still need to iron the seams in and it's not super perfect but it's really nice and you really can't tell the imperfections from far away it doesn't reach all the way to my knee, it kind of reached to my thigh area, which is long enough for me if you want it longer by probably two yards or a yard and a half. So this is what it looks like. Really nice and flowy. I told you to keep this piece for the excess fabric. You would want to use it for kind of like the waistband. So I like to do it like this and then cinch up the waist and then tie a bow right here. And I think it's really cute when you do this, so this is what it would look like. Wear it out, wear it in the house, wherever you want. Really relaxing, especially for the spring. Um, not quite for the summer like it is now, because if you wear this out, it might be a little bit too hot. But here it is. It's also great for the fall time, when it gets a little bit chilly outside. Back. So well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope um, I hope this DIY helped you make this kimono. Um, I think it's really simple to make for me. Um, you can hand sew it, you can glue it, you can sew it by machine, whatever you choose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and talk to you guys next time. Bye!